James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? for you, James. See? I'm real. Hey there, guys and gals, and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill 2, the director's cut. And... I love this game so much. Let's just do normal. We ain't no pussy. This game is fucking brilliant. I love the music, I love the story, I love the characters. Everything is so good! James likes to play peekaboo with himself. So yeah, this is gonna be my next um, series. I will upload this on the 12th of July because I needed a video. Um. Why do we have a urinal in our faces? But yeah, anyway, um, this will be uploaded on the 12th of July because I need an extra video. And so, then we'll continue from there. Really being 
I'm still. I don't know. Maybe she is. Hooray! Let's go. Um, it will become apparent which one that uh, is. Um, but first, let's listen to this little introduction. Nice shoes, by the way. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary, my wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? This game is incredibly fucking amazing on how it plays with emotions. And you will find out. I am playing the PS2 version. Got my Apple Silent Hill. Because the HD collection was absolute bullshit. And North America Konami realized it was absolute bullshit and offered refunds. But of course, I'm in the UK and so I still have a strong hatred. Um, Brahms isn't 265 miles away, dears. Okay, you need to get that straight. To look a lick. They did fix it in the bleh version, but, you know. The reason why I love this one more is Monica Taylor Horgan being the voice of Ma Mary and Maria. She was absolutely fucking perfect. Okay, how do I reset the camera? There we go. Been a long time since I've played this, which is why I've decided to play it again. I miss it. I love it. Creepy things in the forest, just keep going. Creepy noises. <laughs> Let's not deal with the creepy noises just now. Please. <laughs> this game is quite slow in its introduction, but that makes it all the more worth it. Because it's setting up the story. And I quite like that. There's a save point in there, um, we're currently going at 9 minutes, so I just want to get this over and done with. Trying to just find somewhere. I'll need to try and find somewhere nice to stop. Because I don't want to record too many parts of this. Well, not right now, anyway. Angela Orozco. Tragic woman. Excuse me, I... Oh, oh, I, I'm 
I'm sorry. I, I. No, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. I'll be honest, a couple of my friends yeah. who saw me start this channel, they will know that I wanted to play this at the start. This, uh... Th this town... But I couldn't... And then whenever I started going properly... Explain, but is it? I decided to start with Haunting Ground. <laughs> And it's not just the but now I really either. want to play this okay. game more. I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I kind of feel really sorry for Angela. But why? I'm looking for someone. The graphics in this are quite good. Someone. In fact, they're brilliant, especially compared to nowadays. I do anything. And this is a PS2 game. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. These voice actors are just oh, so much here, better. I can't find them either. I'll be very honest, they're just so much better. I'm sorry. Isn't Try so Baker, hard? Laura Bailey, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, they were all yeah, good yeah. for animes and stuff, but Silent Hill was built upon voice actors who were barely known. Oh, hello. <gasps> Wait, I need to see that. What the fuck? I don't know how to control this camera. I forget how it controls. Someone help me! I don't know how to control the camera? <laughs> help me! Help me! Okay, let me. The fuck's the camera? Ah. A dead person can't be running around Silent Hill, can they? Okay, let's keep going. More scary noises. <laughs> Fuck. I'll be honest, Akira Yamaoka is probably one of my favorite game composers. And by the way, any extra weapons I find like that, I am not picking up. Because I am going to be an honest player and play this as it was a new game. I honestly should have cleared the save file. But then again, I've played this a while. I just want to play it more. I just want to keep the save file as well. <laughs> just in case. There's something in the woods. Get going. Get going. I also altered the uh, options for myself. Um, I reversed the walk-run controls. So, now if, uh, if I want to walk, I hold down square. I also gave it 2D controls, because I don't like tank controls. And I've also turn, turned the noise filter off. Um, the noise filter in this game doesn't look terribly brilliant, I'll be honest. It, it makes it look r way worse, it makes it look grainy. And so therefore, I needed to switch it off. Otherwise, it will just look terrible. Let's go! Silent Hill is kind of far away. <laughs> From where you parked the car, dude. Could have at least drove through the gate. Anyway, as I mentioned, I am going to get the canonical ending. It is not the best ending. In fact, I would say that it's far from the best ending. The best ending is the leave ending. And to get that, you've got to complete this fairly, fairly quickly. If you want the leave ending, 
make sure to examine this photo of Mary um, quite a lot um, because that way it'll improve your chances of guessing the leave ending. There are... Okay, let's... I'm trying to think. In this one there was a UFO ending, which is what the blue gem was for. Um, there was a rebirth ending, which you can't get. The Maria ending, which I'm not going to bother with. Also, if James moves his head... I was not doing it for the first aid kit, well fuck you. If James moves his head in a room and there is no monsters, that means that there's something important there. But I never did it for the first aid spray, which is why I brought it up, but whatever. This is 15 minutes long, I'm gonna have to hurry it along a little bit. Are these... Mark's... blood? Nice butt! <laughs> that shadow just now. I don't think that was Mary. I honestly don't think that was Mary, James. Um, I'll also say this about the HD collection. It fucked up the fog effects, so therefore there was no creepy factor whenever that first monster appeared. Which really fucked me off. Oh, hello. See, he turned his head for the, for, for the health drink. Okay, we go down here. I am in no way an expert at these games, but I do believe I have a fairly sufficient knowledge of the games. Oh, there's a save point right there. That's going to be helpful. Another health drink. There's a save point there. I won't use it yet because I want to at least get the first enemy out of the way. Get the radio and everything. Turn the camera, please. Thank you. <laughs> camera controls. Why is it awkward? <laughs> then again, uh, Silent Hill isn't Silent Hill without awkward controls. And to be quite honest, I like it that way because, I mean, for God's sake, James Thunderland is a store clerk or something. I'm pretty sure he's a store clerk, and therefore he would have no combat experience, and therefore. It, the controls should be clunky for him. You're not bloody playing as a war hero or anything. Hey, what you munching on? Can I have some? Never mind. Don't want any. Wow. You look gorgeous. Hi. This is a lying figure. Or a patient, as it's also known as. I can't remember where it's known as a patient. I've only known it as a lying figure. Um, they basically represent helplessness. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I remember how to control this thing. Everything's fine. We're beating up monsters. What the hell is it? It's a monster. Human. Don't you want to pet it? Don't you want to pet it some more, baby? Oh, okay. I may take my sweet ass time with this, mainly because I want the canonical ending. This thing broken? Maybe. Huh. Mary? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it. <laughs> okay. Um, this is 19 minutes. This probably seems like a good place to stop right now. I don't want to get too much into this um, right now because I've still got a lot to edit for Space Channel 5 um, which is the game I'm playing for uh, my one year anniversary on YouTube. And so I'm going to just save it here and call it apart. What's this? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. 
It's a save point! We're gonna save it. Good. We're saving. This is a new game plus, so... Yeah. Okay, we've saved. So... Yeah, thanks for watching part one of Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Stay tuned for part two, which will be up on the 14th of July. Okay, so peace out. Bye! Oh, look, and I have mumblers, because I live in Europe, and we don't get great children in our games. Because we prefer decapitated teddy bears. Run for your fucking life, oh fuck. Blocked by a fence? Come on, shattered memories, Harry would jump at.